guys, it's me with a new I Am Fun Size. Uh, I think I was wearing the exact same thing last time I shot this in almost the exact same place. So um, it is a different day though, I promise. And uh, lots of exciting things happening in the world. Um, so this particular topic is actually something I've thought about for many years. And it's something I've been saying for many years, um, but it just popped up in my head again today uh, because of something a friend said to me. Um, I was uh, texting with a friend and he said, you know, it's so awesome that you are so resourceful and that you want to share all of those resources with other people. And um, my first thing that I said back to him was, well, that's honestly because I know I've been through so much pain and stress and all of these things that I just want other people not to have to go through the same things that I have. And if there's any way to fix that, then... Great. And that's sort of where I am fun size came from. So there's this one saying that I've been saying to myself for many years and occasionally to other people. And I hesitated to name the episode this because I think it can be misinterpreted, but it's such a such an easy way for me to say it to myself that works for me that I wanted to share it with you all. And, and that is this, um, you know, there is no avoiding pain in our lives. There's no, we spend so much time trying to avoid it. We fear, we worry, we do all this stuff, but one way or the other, bad things are going to happen sometimes. And um, there are just certain things that happen in life that involve us having to grieve or involve us having to end a relationship or, or whatnot. And, and those are just parts of the journey. And what do you do uh, when those happen? You know, there are so many different books and websites and counselors, and I am not a professional psychologist or any kind of a self-help professional, really. I just know from my experience what I've gone through. So, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, what do you do with that? And in the very moment that I am feeling something that I can't make sense of and that hurts and that I don't want to feel, there's one thing that has helped me and one little saying that has helped me uh, a lot of times. And it's something that I've said to myself once and it gave me relief, which is give the pain a purpose. Give the pain a purpose. Now, what does that mean? Um, it doesn't mean inflict pain upon yourself purposely. It definitely does not mean that. It does not mean you should actively seek out painful situations. But what it does mean for me is that... Um, whether I see it now or I don't, the thing that I am experiencing, if it is painful, emotionally, mentally, whatever, um, I can sort of look at it two ways. I can either let it harden me or make me angry or bitter or jealous or all sorts of things that probably won't serve me going forward. Or I can think of it as, okay, I am gonna learn something from this situation as I proceed to work through this pain and get over this pain, because I will, I'm gonna learn something. And I can't see it now, but I know there will be a purpose that I can give it in the future. When I look back with hindsight, there is gonna be some purpose that I can see that it served. And if for nothing else, the purpose can be teaching me compassion for people who are going through something like what I'm going through. Give the pain a purpose, if nothing else, compassion for people who experience what I'm experiencing now. Um, you know, being sick gives you compassion for other people that are feeling sick. Being, being, going through a breakup gives you compassion for other people who go through a breakup. Feeling rejected, feeling hurt, feeling, losing a job, all of these things can teach us all compassion for other people who are going through it. And compassion, really, this is a little bit of a side uh, note here, but compassion, I feel like, is a real antidote for harsh judgment. You know, we live in a world right now where people are quick to judge and quick to scoff at people and quick to say, um, you don't know what I'm going through or it's easy for you or all of these things. It's so, it, it, it's something that happens quickly, maybe because of the internet, maybe just because of the way the societies are these days. But the flip side of that is when you have experienced enough 
struggle or pain or whatever in your life, you can actually look at someone who maybe is acting in ways that are not savory or maybe who is acting out or whatever, and you can have compassion for what they're going through that might be causing them to act that way. So rather than judging them so harshly, you can have that compassion. And when you have compassion, you can actually help other people through things easier because you are there holding the space for them when they can't see the possibility of getting past the pain that they are in. Um, and that is a very powerful thing to do for someone else, to hold that space, to say, I know you can't see the light, but I can, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see it for you. I'm not gonna tell you how to get there because it's your journey and I can't tell you how to get there, but I can hold the space. I can have the awareness that you will get through this. And having gone through something similar often helps you do that for other people. Um, you know, one of, one of my, one example that I use often in my life is when I was uh, much younger, a teenager, I, uh, I had an eating disorder. And even within the time that I was recovering from it, I remember thinking, huh, as I get through this and as I get back to whatever normal will end up looking like for me, um, I want to help other people because I'm learning so much. I want to help other people not have to go through all the same steps I did and maybe get past their bad relationship with food faster or feel better about themselves faster or whatever it is. I can give this this icky struggle that I'm in, I can give it a purpose because otherwise it's meaningless. Otherwise I went through it and I didn't learn anything and I didn't grow. And what's the freaking point of, of, of this, this journey if I can't give it a good reason that I went through it? So um, I then uh, decided to study nutrition and also study recovery and all of that stuff. And I ended up training as a personal trainer Partly because I was really unathletic and I wanted to let people know that they could get in shape no matter whether they were good at sports or not because I was terrible at sports. So bad at sports. Like, God forbid I had to, you know, get a ball somewhere or even worse, hit a ball with like, it's just not going to happen. Um, I was terrible at sports. But also because I wanted to be able to help people um, uh, learn how to have a, a, a reasonable relationship with food and not go through what I was going through. So I decided to use that and I would be very open about it with friends um, in order to help me through my pain a little bit easier. So going back to this friend that I was talking to earlier today when he said that lovely thing about me, I was kind of like, well, it's a little bit selfish because it helps me get past all those times where I'm angry at the struggle or I'm angry at the pain or I'm like, why the hell do I have to go through this? All right, I'll tell you why the hell. I'm going to give it a reason. I'm not going to wait for the reason to be clear. I am going to give it a reason. And the reason is I'm going through this because I know I'm going to find a way out of it and I'm going to help someone, someone along the way, even if just by not telling them I'm helping them, not giving them advice, even if just by giving them compassion and holding the space for them to feel better. And that is a very empowering way to go through your life. Because one way or another, like I said, there are going to be valleys. There are going to be peaks, there are going to be valleys. One way or another, we're going to have to experience things that we really don't want to experience. But if we can find a way to add those to our arsenal of weapons to help people love better, and tools to help people feel better, then at the very least, it gives us a, a, a reason and a, and a purpose uh, to have gone through it ourselves. So that is something I wanted to lay on you guys today. Um, I hope, you know, in a magical world, none of you would be going through anything painful today, but I hope whatever you are experiencing, I hope you're having a magnificent day, but if you are not, know that there is a light on the other end of the tunnel and maybe what you're learning right now through what you're experiencing is going to help someone else you meet down the line. So, um, so let yourself have it, let yourself experience it. Let yourself look at it like an experience that might be useful for you or someone else down the line. Um, and be gentle with yourself as you're doing that. You don't go at your own pace. 
Um, okay, you guys, I gotta stop before I'm gonna start crying because uh, I love you guys. <laughs> um, and I, and I, I want everyone to live these full big lives that we are all meant to have because as I say, we are all fun size. We're all built for fun. We're all built for these big, beautiful lives. And I know we sometimes feel very small, but what's inside is so big. I promise you what is inside you is so big and so ready to take on life. And, uh, and I hope today you get a chance to honor that for yourself. Uh, leave me questions in the comments or write them if you want them to be private. Uh, Anjali at IamFunSize.com. You can hit me there anytime. Uh, and we will see you on the next episode. Bye. All right, you beautiful people, send me your stuff. You can email me at Anjali at IamFunSize.com. These are all of the places you can find me on the interwebs. Please send me questions, pictures, fan art, cosplay pictures. Send me pictures of puppies. You know how I love the puppies. Oh, please, please, more puppies. Can I please? Please, guys, please.